Jeopardy. Now entering the studio are today's contestants. A young entrepreneur from Arizona, Libby Rosbrook. <laughs> A medical student from Westchester, New York, Talia Shaivis. And last but not least, a psychologist from California, Brony <laughs> Luzon. Let's begin. Good luck to all three of you. Let's look Thank at you. the board. Here are the categories for you. Economic, math, trivia, old movies, and fossils. Libby, you will select first. Trivia for 400. Good choice. Mel Blank. Who is the voice of Bugs Bunny? Correct. Next, Libby. Um, math for 300. In order to multiply powers that have the same base, the exponents must be added to one another. What is one of the rules of exponents? Wow, you're on fire. Right. I will be teaching the seven rules of exponents. The first rule states that in order to multiply powers that have the same base, the exponents must be added to one another. For example, if you have 4 to the 3rd times 4 to the 7th, you would add 3 and 7 together, and the answer would be 4 to the 10th. The second rule is that in order to find a power of a power, the exponents are multiplied together. For example, solving 6 to the 5th to the 3rd power, you would multiply 5 and 3 with each other and keep 6 the same. So the answer would be 6 to the 15th power. The third rule is that in order to find the power of a product, the power of each factor must be multiplied. For example, when trying to solve 5 times 2 to the second power, you would multiply 5 to the second times 2 to the second. And so that equals 25 times 4, which equals 100. Go. The fourth rule is that in order to divide powers having the same base, subtract the exponents. For example, when dividing 4 to the 6th power by 4 to the 2nd power, you keep the base the same, which is 4, and you subtract 2 from 6, so the answer will be 4 to the 4th power. The 5th rule states that, if, that any number raised to the 0 power is 1. No. For example, 5 raised to the 0 power equals 1. 100 raised to the 0 power equals 1. And 1 million to the 0 power equals 1. The sixth rule states that any number raised to the first power equals itself. For example, 176 raised to the first power equals 176. 100 raised to the first power equals 100. And 1 million raised to the first power equals 1 million. The seventh rule is that any number raised to a negative power becomes the reciprocal of that number and changes the negative power to a positive number. For example, 4 raised to a negative second power is not the final answer. So you would have to make it the reciprocal and make the exponent a positive. So you do 1 to the second power over 4. 1 over 4 is the reciprocal because 4 actually equals 4 over 1. So the opposite of that would be 1 over 4, and the opposite of negative 2 would be 2. E, parentheses, x squared plus 1, parentheses, divided by 2, plus 2x squared equals 10. What is an algebraic equation? Today I'm going to teach you the steps of how to solve algebraic equations. So the first step is what you do, you clear the fraction. What you do, you divide the whole thing by 2, so that this would cross out. So you multiply 2 times 2, which is 4x, and then 2 times 10, which is 20. The second step, you distribute. Spell it. What you do <laughs> is you do th 3 times x squared, which is 3x squared, 3 times 1, which is plus 3, and then plus 4x <coughs> squared equals 20. The third step, combine the like terms. What you do is you add this and this because they're the same like term, which is 7x squared plus 3 equals 20. 
The fourth step, additive inverse. Additive inverse. What you do is, wait, let me just rewrite it. You subtract three on both sides, so this crosses out. Subtract three, and this is 17. So now I'm doing the fifth step, which is multiplicative inverse. What you do is you divide both sides by 7. So x equals plus or minus rad 17 over 7. Your next guy. Fossils. Four. 400. 400. Good joke. Um, Megalosaurus bone in China. <laughs> Where was the first fossil found? Um, I think I'm going to do math for 100. Uh, that's a very bold call. 2x plus 3y <laughs> What is ax plus by equals c form? Today I'm going to teach how to plot a line in ax plus by equals c form using the equation 2x plus 3y equals 12. First we will demonstrate how to use an xy chart. You set x to 0 and you solve for y, which would be 4. Then you set y to 0 and then you have and it, x equals 6. Then you add to your chart x equals 0 is 4 and y equals 0 is 6. For x is 0, y is 4. For x is 6, y is 0. Then you connect the line. Today I will be teaching how to convert an equation into y equals mx plus b4. The equation we will be using today is 4x plus 2y equals 12. The first step is additive inverse. You subtract 4x, 4x. The answer to this is 2y equals negative 4x plus 12. Then, using the multiplicative inverse, you divide every term by 2. The answer to that is y equals negative 2x plus 6. Now you have it in y equals mx plus b4. So to plot this on a graph, b equals 6, so you plot b equals 6, and then m equals negative 2. But according to the rules of rise over run, you put a 1 under it, because for every 1 across you go down 2. So, go down 2 and over 1, and then you connect the line. Next one, Talia. I'm like going to select old movies for 300. Okay. This movie has a lot of munchkins that help Dorothy get to the wizard. What is the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> 